Alright, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. This week, we're talking about good old Continental Gator Skin Tires and what I think about them and whether you should run them or not. But before we get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you already are subscribed, make sure you hit that little bell icon right next to that, that way you get notified every time I upload. Though we know this is awesome cycling content we got on this channel. So right on to the video, we're talking about the good old Continental Gator Skin Tires and giving them my review on these and what I think about these. So first off, I've been running Continental Gator Skins on my road bike for about six years now. I enjoy them and they work very well. So let's talk about what makes a Continental Gator Skin so much better or why everyone knows the name Continental Gator Skins. So really the big deal with these is they're very puncture resistant. They have a thicker case on these that is made to prevent punctures and flats from basic things you'd find on the road, whether it's glass or thorns or whatever that might be. It makes it so it's hard for those to actually puncture in and puncture your tube, causing you a flat. So that's really the big deal with the Continental Gator Skins. That's why most people know these. There is another brand that's also well known, but Continental Gator Skins I'd say is one of the biggest ones known in the cycling community as a great road bike tire to have. So why do I like Continental Gator Skins? Why have I been running for a long time? So like I said, they're very good at puncture resistance. That is the number one thing of why I run Continental Gator Skins. For me, I mostly do adventure riding or just fun riding. I'm not racing super often on my road bike. My road bike's mainly for just fitness and riding around exploring. So for me, a super fast rolling tire that's made for like a race condition or a lighter casing, it's really not something that appeals to me. I want something that's going to be able to stand up and not leave me stranded somewhere and not give me a flat tire when I don't want a flat tire. That's why I went with Continental Gator Skins. Now, the size I chose, these were a, these are a 700 by 25 millimeter, so a pretty you know, when I got these six years ago, that's about the time people realized, hey, uh, 23, 21 millimeter tire, you can run a wider tire and still get the same speed out of it. So I went with the 25 millimeter. That was about what people were running with a 25 to a 28 millimeter. This is about the largest I can fit on my particular road bike. I might be able to go 28, but 25 is what I decided to go with. With that being said, for these tires to roll really good for me, I pump them up to about 100 PSI. Now I'm about 250 or so. so that's about what I put them up to. And that gives me a very solid rolling feel while still having some cushion to it. You know, obviously there's tires out there that have much more cushion than these, especially since people, have, especially since manufacturers and tires have gotten to the wider thing of being a 28 or 32 millimeter now versus a 25. So that was one thing to think about when you're choosing your width of the tire, but I've made a whole video about what size tire you should run on your road bike. So you can check that out if you want to learn a little bit more on road bike widths and what you should run. But we're talking about gator skins here. So why don't people like gator skins? Well, it has to do with the heavier casing on them. Because they have a heavier casing, they have a little bit more rolling resistance to them because of that. They also add more weight to your bike, of course, because heavier casing, more weight. These definitely aren't the lightest tire you can get for a road bike. There are lighter tires out there, but if you're looking for the sole purpose of puncture protection and just being able to ride your bike and not have to worry about getting a flat somewhere, Gator skins are going to be the way to go. And they're very obvious when you find a gator skin. You kind of see the sidewall there. It's got kind of that reddish, tannish color on the sidewall, which is part of the sidewall casing on this tire. And it's a very distinct looking tire. That's how you know it's a gator skin. And if you haven't noticed from my bikes, I kind of like the tan sidewall look. So that's another big bonus for me. It has kind of that tannish, tannish red sidewall to it, just like the Superfly does. And I enjoy that look. It looks really good, especially on a red and white bike, which is what my road bike is. So do I think everybody should run Continental Gator Skins? No, I don't think everybody should run Continental Gator Skins. I believe, you know, if you're looking just like me to be an adventurous cyclist, or you're looking to explore, or you're looking for pretty much the sole purpose of not getting a flat tire ever, Continental Gator Skin is gonna be a great option for you. If you're going to races all the time, and you're looking to get the most performance out of your tire you possibly can, a gator skin is probably not going to be the best choice for you. There's other options out there that are going to be faster and roll much better than the gator skin. However, for a good median and this rolls well and flat protection, this is going to work, I would say, for a good portion of our road cyclists out there that want a good tire that's not going to have flats, that rolls perfectly fine, and that lasts a long time. I'll probably put close to about 3,000 miles on this certain set of Continental Gator Skins and they still look okay. They still have tread. I mean, it's probably getting close to about time I should replace them if I ride a little more this season coming up. So that is my review. If you want, if you're looking for that type of a tire, get this, get the Continental Gator Skins. You're not gonna be disappointed. I have never been disappointed in these tires since the day I got them. And it's always something I've known I was gonna get if I got a road bike and 
I own a road bike. These are the tires I have. These are the tires I'm going to continue to run because I'm not looking for the lightest possible tire. I'm looking for something that's not going to leave me stranded, not going to give me a flat tire, and still work perfectly fine on my road bike. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. Any comments or questions, let me know down in the comments section below. Love chatting with you guys. Love answering any of your questions. If you have your own opinions on the Continental Gator skin, whether you run them or not, let me know in the comments too. I want to hear what you guys are running, if you're running these two, or what you think about them. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching today.